but she had a bunch of DMs. How many of those guys did you respond back to? Oh, yeah, I left what? you on red, Myron. That's true. Oh, you did? But you, you kind of, cool. you weren't that nice. I respond either. to everyone because they like be kind of high. Some type of money. What? I, what did I say? I don't even remember what I said. He's like, you're not bad looking. What's your number? <laughs> what desperate girl would actually give her number to that? This actually proves my point even further. Women have so many opportunities, even in this situation here. I'm a guy, I got my shit together, whatever, but I could still fail. So what do you think the average guy is gonna be dealing with? I do have a girl, she's better looking than you, younger than you, and not annoying. We're in an open relationship, she packs my fucking condoms for me, she cleans the place, she takes care of what I need, and she's a great girl. And you guys do closed. what they do, I I'm do what open. I do. That's... No, she's closed though. I don't like that. Because you asked the question, are you in a relationship? Yes, I am, and she's better looking than you in every regard. Okay. If I do what the fuck I want, she stays and she's loyal to me. Why does she do that? Because she knows she's with a fucking winner and I can command that from her. Well, she like doesn't sound like she smokes cigarettes. Is she real? That, the, yes, she is. <laughs> she's hotter than you too, for sure. Okay, okay. So, men like me have fucking standards. The reason why I sent you a DM that way is because I don't fucking respect you. If I'm going to keep it all the way a thousand. You got a picture of yourself like, rumble. sexualizing yourself. I not even let that's you hit why. it. That's, that's, why. that's why you got the message that you got. And that's why you remember me and I don't remember Guess you. Guess what? I have very Period. high level people that want to date me and I still say no. The more options he has, the less likely he's going to pick you. We're going to go for girls that are younger. You Your saw girl the girls has on no the internet. What? My girl has off, no standards? So yeah, if she's what? letting that's you fetish. go fuck and around and she has to be committed to you and you're not committed to her. For two seconds to shut the fuck up. Anyway, men that are successful are always gonna have multiple women. That's how it goes. Oh. Say what you want to say. You're 33 years old. You're on OnlyFans. You are not necessarily going to be able to get the best of guys because most guys don't want that from their girl. I have so many good I love guys. They just want to fuck you. No, 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 are you no serious? they don't. They no, they don't. Because you, no. you realize, like, damn, I'm older now. I don't have no, the same ability to get the same attractive men that I did 10 years prior. That's not why. If you sexualize okay. yourself, a majority of men are not going to take you seriously, they're not going to respect you, and they're not going to want to commit to you. Oh. Yo, yo, when I'm talking, shut the fuck up, all right? Like, I'm not one of your exes, one of these loser boyfriends you had before that let you talk over them. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. I'm just trying to make a point here, and I keep hearing, nah, 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 nah. Shut the fuck up. You guys have been on the platform disrespecting me, disrespecting my chicken shit, on the side with all this dumb shit. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. We apologize. You're just getting really mad. No, no, We're because you've been quiet. disrespectful. This is a fucking privilege for you to be here. I'm not one of these fucking simps on your shit that's going to sit here and let you talk crazy. Hey, guys, we appreciate you letting us be here. Be like, quiet, we I'm still talking, I'm man. Just, I was just God damn. Appreciate... That's what I'm trying to say. Like, shut up. Got to get these old chicks in check. It's wild out here. If I'm talking, <laughs> now I'm shut old. the damn. fuck up. <laughs> Talk about his girl, roast his girl. Yeah, I did. You know, and my chick is better than all you fucking bimbos here. Like I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Hey, I she never disrespected your girl. She's not loud. So. She's not obnoxious. She's not a fucking slut on the internet. Let's keep it a thousand. There's a reason why I picked her. All right? <laughs> like what the fuck is like? Y'all are not about to sit here and talk shit about my girl. She's better than all y'all. Hey, I never here. disrespected Shut your up. girl. Just Shut up. Now. You know what? Nah, man. Yo, get the fuck off the panel, man. All three of y'all. Get the fuck out. out of here, these old chicks. All of us? Fuck out of here, yeah. Y'all are really? laughing, snickering, blah, no, blah, blah. I'm not, I'm not laughing game. at all. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Really? Get out of here. Yeah, I'm dead ass. Get out of here. One of the 304s decided to make this Instagram post. His girl couldn't look this good on her best day. Letting a man do what he wants while you sit at home and clean is not high value. There's a lot of Spanish women like this. They understand the truth, but they're always going to be combative and have an no. attitude. No, that's not true. Let's go. What the fuck? Spanish girls don't have attitude? They are spicy, no, though. Um, Spanish? Some of them. Angie, watch the fuck, what the fuck you say, man. Yeah, that was attitude right there, Shut the fuck out. Yeah. I'm sorry. They're spicy. Don't talk to Sneagle like that ever again. Yeah. Okay. Alright, sorry, what are you saying? Nice job. So, Myron claims he has high standards, and the girl that he's currently dating is some kind of genetic marvel, who's on another level to the girls on the podcast. So yeah, let's analyze this so-called beauty queen. Straight away, the flop holding the microphone is estimated to be between 5'10 and 5'11, which means I would speculate that Myron's girl is around 4'11. And in conjunction with Myron claiming to be about 6'5, her height should be highly unappealing. That would be the equivalent of me dating a girl at around 4 foot 3, which would instantly repel me from that girl. But moving on to her facial features, I'm gonna say there isn't any major flaws I can outline. She has mostly average features mixed with some good features. So overall, I'm going to say this girl is slightly above average. So 3.5 out of 10 on my scale, which is 5.5 on the normal scale, maybe six at best. If I'm looking for natural beauty, I just don't see it. Analyzing her here, would you think this girl is at the elite level, the way Myron classifies her as? Clearly Myron is just like the other Manosphere individuals who delude themselves into thinking that the 
girlfriends are more attractive than they actually are. And to adjust the credibility of my claim, let's take a look at another example of one of Myron's girls. And we have to remember that Myron is super tall, super rich and has a ton of status. And with that, he's only able to attract average to slightly above average looking girls. I can guarantee when this girl takes her makeup off, she is going to be as plain as it comes. As you can observe here, absolutely zero captivating features, even with the makeup. So correlating to the dating market, as Myron says, he classifies himself as a winner and a high value man, but yet he is stuck dating average girls. It just displays how difficult it would be for the average guy to obtain a girlfriend. However, Myron wants to claim that men are gatekeeping women from getting into relationships, which is just pure delusion. Because the problems most men are facing is they have zero attention from women. So how is he controlling a woman from getting into a relationship? If a woman has zero interest in him, he has no power. If the average girl in dating apps or in real life wants a boyfriend, she can get one very easily. But if the average man wants to get a relationship, he's going to find it very hard to get one. So you see, it's the other way around. The women have the power, not the men. So stop deluding yourselves and trying to make yourselves feel better and thinking, oh, we as men, we have our own privileges as well. Just face reality. It is what it is. And stop being jokes and flops. Uh, but yeah, until next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.